first I want to say a shout out to Peppy Gel because we were in communication. Look at that beautiful packaging. And um, they decided that they would collaborate with me. So shout out to Peppy Gel. You can find Peppy Gel on Instagram. Also on Facebook. So inside the box just looks like this. This is their box. In the box are three steps, I believe, of gel liquid. I'm just going to pull them out so you can see them. So there's an actual one, two, and three step, right? So number one, does it say what it is? A pro base right at the bottom you can barely see it pro base number two is the activator number three is the finish gel so this is what they look like just like that this is what the front of the bottle looks like it's a 15 milliliter bottle I just opened one of the bottles up to see if there was a smell and I didn't really smell anything strong there is a peppy gel buffer this is just packaging you didn't see my address but that was just the packing list I was able to choose two colors and I chose uh, I don't think this is one of the I don't remember choosing this color but it very well could be um, I remember it was like a was it um solar changing or something it was like a color that changed um, colors this looks like it has This looks like it has like blue little flakies in it and I don't remember choosing that one, but that's okay. I'm still going to swatch it for you. I have never used Peppy Gel before, so you and I are both gonna learn how to use it if you have not. Um, if you have not used Peppy Gel before, there is a removal instruction, which is really, really helpful. And then here, uh, it kind of gives you instructions on how to use uh, these steps with the pow with the powders excuse me so i'll have that right next to me we have a little card here for their instagram and their facebook um, sites so we have two powders here they try to write it like fabulous but because it's the holidays if my camera focuses there we go they kind of made it kind of like a holiday name. So I'm just going to show you. This was actually my favorite one out of the two that I chose. It's like a beautiful matte when it's done. Um, and I believe it has green and red glitter in it. I don't know if you can see those little flecks. But yeah, we're going to not do my nails because there's another kit that I want to actually um, use for my nails. But today we're just going to swatch on a swatch stick. And let me just move all this stuff. So on the instructions, of course, if I was doing it on my nails, you would sanitize your hands. Um, um, I mean, you always want to sanitize your hands. But you want to cut your nails, file shape, push and remove your cuticles. Um, you want to buff the nails. So there's a couple of steps that you want to do if you're doing them on your natural nails. I am not going to be doing it on my natural nails today. Um, if you'd like... I will definitely come back and do this on my natural nails, but for today I'm not going to because there's another kit, like I said, that I want to try out, um, but we will do that. There's a note here, Liquid One Ready is very sticky, so do not wipe the excess liquid on the neck of the rim, um, or the rim of the bottle, excuse me. This will cause the bottle um, and product damage or sealed shut lids. The best way to apply the probase is to dip the brush straight up and down. If there is too much liquid on your brush, wipe excess off on a plain paper towel or carefully use the wiper instead or inside of the bottle. I'm really glad that there's really specific instructions because sometimes some companies don't really give you really specific instructions. Um, and so these are very, very, very in depth. So I'm just gonna read this over really quickly and we're just gonna start our swatches. Okay, so pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to start with one of our powders here. I will start with this one and I'm just gonna actually grab a little swatch stick here already ready for us. Since Peppy Gel has a buffer, I'm just going to 
off this nail like so. And in a second, I'll give you a little bit of a close-up of what I'm doing here. Just a quick little buff so our powders and gel liquids and everything sticks, right? So you don't want any shine on the nail at all, right? There it went matte. It's not shiny like my fingernail, right? So you see that there's a couple places that are still kind of shiny in the nail. So you're just going to go ahead and buff those because you want to make sure that you get the sides as well. Okay, so now I'm just going to take a little brush that does not come with the kit and I'm just going to brush that debris away. Okay, so what it says is that we have to take liquid one and apply it to the nail and then dip in the powder. I don't think I'm going to dip, I think I'm going to pour over. So I'm just going to use my little cuticle pusher just to help me pour over uh, in the powder. So I'm just going to open the powder. The uh, seal there wasn't on, you know, really, really well, so these could have spilled, so just be very careful when you're opening them. Um, so, again, step one, you're going to take step one, and you're going to kind of do this in a three-step process. So you're going to take your swatch stick, and the same process that I'm doing is the same process that you would do um, if you're doing it on your natural nails. So we are going to take step one, and I'm already trying to scrape it on the bottom, and it said don't do that. It says just lift it right off, right out of the bottle, right? And I try to scrape it right below before I get to the top because I don't, I wanna follow instructions. So we're going to take the step one and we're just going to just kind of paint our fingernail as if we were using a normal polish, right? And you wanna get it all over the nail, all over the surface of the nail. Can you guys see what I'm doing? Just all over the surface because you want when that powder hits the nail you want wherever wherever you add this liquid is where the powder is going to stick to so if there's a spot that you missed um, that doesn't have the liquid then the powder is not going to stick right so now we have our liquid down I'm just gonna put that back and you're not supposed to cure or anything um, you're just supposed to put the liquid on and then dip your nail so you would dip your nail in the powder but for today I think I'm just going to take our powder and kind of just sprinkle over do you see just like that and then I'll tap off the excess I'll do that again sprinkle over tap off the excess again sprinkle over and I'm gonna tap off the excess okay you can if you'd like dip to you know you can dip it in if you like, I just like to do it just like this, okay? So that's it. And I'm tapping because I want all of the excess to fall back into the bottle. And already, it's so pretty. I don't know if you can notice, guys, but it's beautiful. Already, can you see that shine? I don't know why my camera's not focusing. There we go. Looks like snow. So I'm going to continue to add the liquid here and dip again add the liquid again and lip um and dip again excuse me or pour over in our case then after that you're going to apply liquid two to all the fingers which one finger for us um and then it's very important to wait the two uh full minutes before the next step so we're going to continue to add our liquid it says continue the process now covering the whole nail but stopping a hairline before the cuticle each nail should have at, the, at least three dips so that's one we're gonna try it again and apply our liquid over our nail because now that first layer has stuck right it's already stuck to the nail because there was that liquid and this is cool because we don't have to cure anything right it kind of just hardens on its own so I got the whole nail here what I'm going to do is on a clean surface I'm just going to wipe off my brush because I don't want to contaminate my one step with the powder right so I cleaned off my brush nice and clean I can just put that right back in there I'm going to do the step again you can dip we can try to dip let's try to dip this we want to see the dip dip that right in and pull it out that worked just fine I just prefer to 
pour it over because sometimes I feel like it'll get messed up a little bit. I was just taking off a big chunky glitter. If you um dip it in, but I love how it's looking because it has big pieces of chunky glitter in it, which is really, really beautiful. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that you tap, tap, tap to let go of kind of like the excess, right? So we're gonna go back and we're going to add our third layer like it says. And then we're gonna wipe our brush off and make sure that we don't contaminate. Right? There we go. A third layer, just right on top of the powder. So it's three times. So in another part of my paper towel, I'm just gonna wipe that off. This time I think I'm gonna pour over again. So I'm just gonna take the nail and pour over. Stay inside of the jar. A lot of people make a lot of mess with this. <laughs> I've seen it go all over the place. I kind of like to just take my time and make sure everything falls inside the jar. Right, tap, tap, tap. So we're done with the powder. Was that three times, guys? I think it was. If it wasn't, oops. <laughs> I think we did it three times. I think that was the last time. So now it says that we have to wipe off the excess powder, which we did lightly with a duster. I don't have the peppy duster, but that's okay. I'm just gonna use what I have here and dust off the extra, right? Like it says. Then I'm going to uh, apply liquid, uh, liquid two, like it says. So it says, allow the liquid two to set dry for two minutes until you get to the next step. Then once it's dry, you can use a, a file to shape it, right? So this is probably kind of like our, let me put this down. Um, it's not kind of like, it is our activator. So this is what's gonna activate the powder and the gel together, I'm, I'm assuming. And we're gonna take our second step and we're gonna cover the nail. And it says that we have to wait two minutes for this to dry. So we'll wait two minutes patiently together kind of stinky, I'm not gonna lie. I should have cleaned it, but I think because we dusted it, it'll be okay. So we gotta wait two minutes to dry. So as this is drying, I'm just gonna read you really quickly um, what it says on here where we are. We are on step eight and nine. So we're adding this, the liquid two to our nail and it says don't be afraid to go a little heavy and make sure to dip the brush back into the bottle for each nail so we're going to go to step nine which is allow the liquid number two to set to dry for two minutes it is important to wait the full two minutes before the next step step 10 says once it's dry use a file to shape and smooth the tips then buff the whole nail smooth wipe off the dust and or excuse me with the peppy duster and then step 11 says apply a second coat of liquid two um, which is um, the set part and then ready set shine and then we are going to I just wait two full minutes again for it to dry so this second step you have to wait like four minutes in between but it says that this step is critical because um, two minutes is key for the optimum shine after two minutes wipe each nail down with a nail or excuse me a paper towel so it's been about two minutes once it's dry, it says use a file to shape and smooth the tips and then buff the whole nail, then apply a second coat. So they want us to buff it now, right? So make sure. Let's wait another minute. Okay, guys, so it's been about two minutes. I'm gonna take our swatch and we're gonna buff and shape like they said. So I'm actually going to take my nail file which I just have on the side here and if this was my nail I'd do the same thing um, I don't have whoops a peppy nail file so I'm just gonna use what I have I'm just shaping up the sides really quickly getting our free edge and then I'll use the buffer for everything else okay so let's see this is fun I like this I think I like this better than acrylic I like this the activator kind of hardened it and made it, you know, 
stiff. I kind of stiffened it up. What we're doing now is we kind of want those glitters to lay flat. And if there's any lumps and bumps, you want to get those out because that's going to show through your nails. So I'm kind of checking as I go. Do I feel any more of the jet or any more of the lumps and bumps? Do I feel any glitter sticking up? Okay. This is a swatch anyways, but you would do the same thing for a nail. I'm just going to make sure we're all good here. I'll get a close up guys so you can see. Don't worry what it looks like. Okay. Just want everything to be nice and even. Because I'm sure when you put that last step, you're probably going to see all the lumps and bumps. So you just want to make sure that you don't see or that you don't have any lumps and bumps. I've only done a little bit and already the this buffer is shedding. Okay, I think that is good. So we are good there. I'm just going to dust off that brush. Or <laughs> dust with the brush, the dust. Right? And then we're going to add another second coat. And we have to wait two minutes because it says it's critical for this step. So take this second step and you're just going to apply it over the nail like you just previously did the first time same thing this is the activator once again step two and we're just going to wait for this to kind of dry the full two minutes i'm just going to wipe this off on a different part of my paper towel because we we're buffing and we're just going to let that sit for the two minutes then we will wipe it again and then we're going to add our step three. It's actually so beautiful so far. I hope you guys can see the swatch. But it's really, really pretty. Beautiful for winter time. I think you could do a gorgeous design with this powder. I can't wait to see what the other one looks like. So let's let this sit for two minutes. And then we will add our third step. I just wanted to say that I have um, swatched with another company before. not going to say the company name. Um, but... I felt like the swatch, you know, the powders when I was done with the swatch, that the nail looked really, really thick. I love with the Peppy powders that, you know, it built up, but the nail doesn't look really, really thick. Do you get what I mean? And it's cured. Look how, like, it's not super thick, right? I love that. Okay, so it doesn't say that we have to buff again, so we're not going to buff again. We're just going to simply take our step three, like it says. The step three, if you're wondering, is the finish gel. So these are gels, and I like that it is thick, not really watery. Okay, so this is, you guys know, when you add a top, coat that you really see the nail come through it makes everything pop shine okay it says to wipe off the brush which i did in a different part of my paper towel i am going to allow um this third coat to let's see what it says Apply the first coat, and then it says continue immediately with your second coat of Liquid 3. Make sure to cap your free edge to prevent lifting. Okay, so we're going to continue immediately. Uh-oh. Mm -mm. Hold on a second, guys. I did exactly what it says, and the brush is not happy. Hold on one second. I did exactly what it said. So I'm not sure why this brush just got like this all of a sudden. I think I just ruined the brush, guys. Don't ask me how, because I followed the steps. That was really weird. And I wiped it on a whole different, hold on guys. I wiped it on a whole different part of the 
paper towel. How did my brush harden like that? I'm kind of confused and I'm scared to dip it back in. I don't know how the bottle or the brush is ruined. I don't know how that happened, guys. Sorry about that, and I followed the steps. I made sure that I didn't contaminate or touch anything. I'm just going to continue to add this. Maybe I can find another brush or something, but this brush is done for. I don't know how that happened. And I wiped it on a separate place on the, you know, with the paper towel, a clean place. That was really weird. Well, that doesn't make me happy, but <laughs> at least I got the review done for you guys let me do a little close-up so you guys can see a little bit oh that's really sad because how am I gonna do this powder that's really really weird it said it's gonna be dried in two minutes and then after that you would just apply your cuticle um, your cuticle oil that's really weird I'm not sure why that happened guys sorry about that but this is this is the beautiful swatch I'm not sure why that happened, my ashy hands. I don't know. I'm not sure, guys. Really beautiful. I love the shine. I wonder if it's going to stay shiny like that. I wonder if after, you know, it dries, is it going to be sticky? So we are going to see. That's really disappointing. I don't know why that just happened, guys. And again, I did not touch it with... You know anything else i didn't mix it i wiped it off really well i wiped it off on a separate part of my i have like three different one two three for the three different steps and still my brush hardened but that's what happened with that other company that i swatched for before it just i don't know i followed the steps and i still got a hard brush i'm just trying to see if this is dry not yet so we're just gonna keep waiting for it to dry because i think i might just maybe do my nails with this in a whole separate video um just because that happened and i don't want this video to take any longer so we will swatch this i promise in a in a different video but this is probably my favorite color and it's like a beautiful matte with glitter in it it's really really pretty but I think that I'm going to do that in a whole separate video when I do my nails so stay tuned because I have another unboxing for you guys um, and I think you're really 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 gonna enjoy that video guys thank you so much for watching this was a new a new um, company for me I'm not really great at dipping powders um, but I'm I mean I'd love to get better at them it's drying I just don't know if it's going to be completely dried by the time I end out this video. But again, this is what the swatch looks like. It's actually really, really pretty. It's a beautiful powder. I love the steps. I love how quick it is. I love how quickly it dries. I love how, you know, there's not even that much dust when you're, when you're buffing it. The colors are gorgeous. I love how there's three steps. I love how it's not just a liquid, that it's a gel, so it adheres really well. I love that shine. I hope it stays like that. In another video, we'll come back to the swatch and see how it did. If it's, you know, if it stayed with the shine or it, you know, stayed sticky or something like that. But we will um, catch up in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you soon. I know it's been a little bit. I'm trying to get back to um, uploading, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I'm going to probably charge my phone and do another video. So stay tuned. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And make sure you hit that thumbs up. I'll see you later. Bye.